This video is mainly focused on the function of bioinformatics form, also known as BIF or BIF, in the customer service system. By using this function, you can send the bioinformatics form of your project to us directly. Please note that the online bioinformatics form just applies to the RNA-Seq project with reference. After you complete the library preparation and sequencing order, a pop-up window like this will show up if your project does include bioinformatics analysis. You can choose the desired species type and select Submit and Add New BIF to access the bioinformatics page. If you do not want to create a BIF immediately, you can choose the species type, select Submit and Add New BIF, and then close the bioinformatics form page. You can create a new bioinformatics form at any time by going to the My Project section on your dashboard, going to the bioinformatics form section on the tabs, and clicking Add New BIF for the relative project. If you select other as the selected species type, you will need to fill in the reference Latin name, CAG abbreviation, and PPI tax ID by clicking on the magnifying glass. When you do so, it'll bring up a different section here that you need to fill out. And depending on whatever Latin name you select, it will give you the relative and associated CAG abbreviation and the PPI tax ID. So you cannot mix and match CAG abbreviations and PPI tax IDs. Whatever is listed for that Latin name is what you will use. If you are unable to find your reference species, click the other reference genome above, right here. You could then fill in the reference Latin name, as well as the FASTA download link and the GTF download link. Then you can also select again the CAG abbreviation and the PPI tax ID. If you do not have the direct CAG abbreviation and T PPI tax ID, go ahead and select the closely related model species. If the species type is Homo sapiens or mouse, you simply need to select the reference genome here. Please note that fusion gene analysis is only available for tumor samples or cancel cell lines. So here, I selected human or mouse as my reference genome, so I can select one of the four options here based on what my product type is. In this example, it is going to be human, so I'm going to select this first one. The next step is to fill in the sample information. In this step, we provide the attention section right here and the example section as a guide to help you fill in the sample information successfully. You first need to select the sample list in your project and add or delete samples by clicking the sample plus or minus button on the upper right hand corner right here. All the available samples under the contract are listed in the pop-up window. You can easily filter the samples by sample name, NOVA ID, sample QC results, or sample Latin name. If you cannot find the sample you would like to process, the reason might be due to the fact that samples were already arranged for analysis beforehand. If this is the case, please do not hesitate to contact your project coordinator to double check. The operation of add or delete group is similar to the operation of sample list. You can also download the template for batch editing of the sample name and report and sample group name sections and import the template back into the system after you completed the Excel form. So I'm going to move forward with these first three samples. And because of that, I'm going to delete the other ones. So I'm going to select the other samples that I am not going to move forward with. and I'm going to hit minus to remove them so that I only have these remaining three. And then for the group name, I'm going to click on the section and type in the group name that I want to give each group. After the sample information is completed, you can fill in the scheme for a differential expression analysis on step three. So I'm going to save and continue here and move on to this next section. 
Similarly, we provide an example section of how to fill in the differential expression analysis section here. Please note that repeated comparisons are not allowed. If the group name has been deleted, you should also correct the comparison group. So here it shows you of acceptable comparison groups for the treatment and control group based off the group names that you just listed on the other sheet. And it also shows you of three examples that are not supported. So this first example here is a repeat of the comparison group from the number one. The second example here is a repeat in the inverted form of comparison group one. The third example includes a group name that is no longer being used on the form. So if that's the case, you need to redo and remove this particular comparison group. You can select the treatment group and control group by using the drop-down list. Input characters can also be retrieved. You can add or delete comparison groups by clicking the plus or minus button on the upper right corner right here. So what I'm going to do is add a comparison group here and I'm going to click on the box to bring down the drop-down menu. And what it's going to do is provide the three options of group names that I selected in the previous sheet. So in this particular example, I want to compare the treatment group of group A and compare it to group B. If I want to add another one, I'm going to do the same thing. And in this case, I'm going to use group B as a treatment group and group C as a control group. If I wanted to delete this for whatever reason, I would just click on this box and hit the subtract button. Once you are done, save this page and continue to move on to the next section, which is the scheme for Venn diagram. Just like the other pages, we also provide an example of how to fill in the Venn diagram section here. As you can see, the Venn diagram section can be drawn based off three different types of data types. The first one being sample type, group name is the second one, and DGE or differential gene expression is the third one. When you scroll to the bottom, you will be able to add or subtract the different types of Venn diagram comparisons that you would like. So in this example, I'm going to hit the plus addition to add a particular Venn diagram. I'm going to select the data type. In this example, I'm going to use samples. And then I'm going to add the relative samples that I would like to have a Venn diagram drawn for. I could do the same thing again by adding another row, selecting a different data type. In this example, I will use group and then adding the relative group names I would like. If you do not want any Venn diagrams done, you can go ahead and just delete all entries and submit this section without filling it out. And on this step five page, you can review the content that you have just created. If you need to review or edit any module based off what you already submitted, you can go ahead and select the edit button on the top right hand corner of each module. You can submit the online BIF if everything is correct. Then the system will switch to the bioinformatics form page. You will see the order history with the status as submitted. If you reply to the library preparation and sequencing order by email, our lab will perform the sequencing order and send an email to you to fill in the bioinformatics form. Please click the link in the email to enter the bioinformatics form page on the CSS system. Click add new BIF to create the online BIF and complete the same steps as previously mentioned in this video. This is the full process of the online bioinformatics form. If you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to contact your technical support colleague or fellow Novogene representative.